In this video, we highlight 10 black athletes who are breaking barriers and shattering expectations in their respective sports in 2023. From football to basketball, boxing to track and field, these talented athletes are pushing past limits and proving that anything is possible with hard work and determination. Join us as we celebrate their achievements and explore what makes them truly exceptional. Number 10, Kadi Sagnia. Khadija to Victoria Sagnia, also known as Kadi Sagnia, is the Swedish long jumper who has achieved personal bests of 6.95 meters outdoors and 6.92 meters indoors. She represents Ulavi FK and won the bronze medal in the long jump event at the 2021 European Indoors Championships in Poland with a leap of 6.75 M, marking her first senior level podium finish. Sagnia's first gold medal was at the Youth Olympics in 2010, where she won the triple jump. She has also competed in the long jump at the 2016 and 2020 Summer Olympics, representing Sweden. While her performance at the 2016 Olympics was not remarkable, she finished in ninth place at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. Kati Sagnia is also a Nike athlete and an ambassador for Adia, Nako Beverage, and Gainamax Health and Lifestyle Products. Number 9, Fatima Diam. Fatima Diam is a Spanish long jump and triple jump athlete born on September 22, 1996, in Valencia, Spain, to Senegalese parents. She started her career at Valencia's Esports Academy and made her professional debut at the World Youth Championships in Donetsk in 2013. At the age of 17, Diam became the Spanish national indoor champion in both long jump and the 60 meters. In 2015, she won a bronze medal in long jump at the European Junior Championships in Eskilstuna, Sweden. Three years later, Diam won a gold medal at the Mediterranean Athletics U23 Championships in Jesolo, Italy, jumping at a record 13.82 M. In the same year, she won two bronze medals at the Mediterranean Games in Tarragona, Spain, and the Ibero-American Championships in Trujillo, Peru. The highlight of Diam's career was representing Spain at the 2021 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. However, her performance did not end well. In 2022, Diam won a gold medal at the Spanish Indoors Championships. Number 8, Favor Afolai. Favor Afolai, a Nigerian athlete, has risen through the ranks to become one of Africa's most promising talents. In 2022, she represented Africa in several races, including the 60 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters, 4x100 meters, and 4x400 meters, proving to be a worthy ambassador. In her first 100M race of the season, Offalite set a new lifetime best of 11.11S, which she improved to 11.00S a week later, already approaching a sub-11 performance. She subsequently ran an incredible wind at a time of 10.90S to finish second at the LSU Alumni Gold, indicating her potential. A week later, she ran her first legal sub-11 time, an impressive personal best of 10.93S, to win the LSU Invitational. This performance made her Nigeria's fastest woman of the season and placed her third on the Nigerian all-time list behind Blessing Okagbear, 10.79S, and Glory Alizy, 10.90S. Afalai's consistency paid off with this remarkable achievement. Number seven, Letin Sebeji. Letin Sebejidi from Ethiopia originally dreamed of becoming a pilot or doctor. However, she found immense success in running and is now regarded as the fastest female distance runner in history. She currently holds world records in the 5,000M, 10,000M, and half marathon events, making her the second athlete after Ingrid Christensen to simultaneously hold all three records. She set her half marathon world record in 2021 during her debut appearance in the event, breaking the previous record by over a minute. In 2022, she raced twice over the 10 m finishing second at the FBK Games in Hengelo before winning her first senior global track title at the World Championships with a time of 30 minutes and 9.94 seconds. Later that year, she recorded the fastest women's marathon debut in history at the 2022 Valencia Marathon, 
finishing second to her compatriot Amain Bariso, who became only the third woman in history to run a sub 2 colon 15 marathon. Gigi's time of 2 hours 16 minutes and 51 seconds surpassed the previous fastest women's debut time set by Alma Azayana to win the Amsterdam Marathon in October. This capped off a successful season for Gigi, who also won a bronze medal in the 10 m at the Tokyo Olympics. Number 6. Good Aftige At this year's World Championships, Ethiopia was the highest-ranked African team, finishing second behind winners the United States of America. The team won 10 medals at the championships, with middle-distance runner Goodaft Sege winning two medals. Sege won gold in the women's 5,000 meter and silver in the 1,500 meter. Just over a year after breaking the world indoor 1,500 meter record, Sege picked up her first gold indoors when she won the women's 1,500 meter in Belgrade. That motivated her for the outdoor season, with a lot of focus on the women's 5,000 meter, despite her good training for the 1500M. Sege was fully prepared as she went into Oregon, aiming for the double. With the women's 1,500 meter coming up first, she had the difficult task of reeling in Faith Kipiagon over the distance, knowing fully well how the Kenyan had been a stalwart in the discipline. It was a three-woman race at the bell for the last lap of the race, with Kipiagon taking the win and Sege taking second in 3 minutes and 54.52 seconds. Although Sege is still in her mid-twenties, this year showed how much she is ready to compete with the heavyweight athletes and she hopes to consolidate on her success going into 2023. Number 5. Gadidim Jebberslase For an athlete who enjoys speaking to her family before and after every race, Gadidim Jebberslase's success in 2022 was one achieved against all odds. The long-standing internet and phone blackout in the country's Tigray region implemented by the Ethiopian government amid fighting between government and Tigrayan forces means her contact with her parents is sporadic and infrequent. Still, it didn't deter her. After the Ethiopian victory at the Berlin Marathon last year's debut with a time of 2 hours 20 minutes and 9 seconds, the 8th fastest winning time in the Berlin Marathon's history, she set her sights on winning another major in 2022. Jibberslase made her way to the difficult and undulating course of the New York City Marathon in early November and put up a good fight in the Big Apple as she finished third with a time of 2 hours 23 minutes and 39 seconds. With the unwavering support of her family despite the crisis, Jibberslase has persevered and stood out this season amongst African athletes. Number 4. Mary Mora At number 4 on our countdown is Mary Mora. The Kenyan shone like a million stars over the 800M this year, breaking all sorts of records and challenging the established order in the sport. Although the East African nation has held sway in the men's 800 meter for the last two decades, their women have struggled to win medals at the top level in the last couple of years. Mary Moore surely de changed that narrative in 2022. It wasn't until last year that Mora Startetto focused her attention on the 800M after spending a large part of her junior career as a quarter miler, and although she still runs the 400M sparingly in order to work on her speed endurance, it was in the 800M she wrote her name in gold this year. Number 3, Etse Broom. Etse Broom, who is the African record holder in the women's long jump. 2022 was arguably Broome's busiest season yet, but she rose to the occasion to do Nigeria and Africa proud at the meetings she participated in. Broome has won a global medal at every major championship she's competed in since the World Championships at Doha 2019, where she won bronze, Nigeria's first World Championships medal since 2013 when Blessing Okagbear won medals in the long jump and 200M. Broom leapt to a silver medal at the Tokyo Olympics last year and then, for the first time in her career, competed at the World Indoor Championships held in Serbia in March 2022. She featured in a number of competitions within and outside the U.S. and then competed at the Prefontaine Classic where she jumped to second place with a mark of 6.82 M, following it with an impressive performance at the Sidious Meeting in Bern where she leapt to 6.92 M to dominate the competition. Number 2, Marie Jose Talu. Belonging to the generation of athletes that are gradually approaching the twilight of their careers, 
Talu has no doubt enjoyed a good run with several continental medals to her name, as well as world championships medals from London and Doha, and a silver from the 2018 World Indoor Championships in Birmingham. The major laurel missing from her medal cabinet is an Olympic medal, so it's quite understandable that she nearly quit the sport after failing to finish on the podium at the Tokyo Olympics last year, five years after fourth place finishes in the 100M and 200M in Rio. In the final, the African Games champion would have hoped for a better outcome than her eventual seventh place. Nevertheless, she was happy to make the final, saying afterwards, I am a fighter, so I just do what I have to do to make the final. Talu had no inkling that the best was yet to come as she resumed competition nearly one month later. Her first outing was at the Camilla Skalamoska Memorial, where she clocked 11.00s in third place. Number one, Toby Amusin. Toby Amusin had an incredible 2022 season, cementing her position as the top 100M hurdler in the world. She achieved great success this year, finally winning a global title after several near misses in the past. Her performances were so dominant that she won every major final, except for a few losses to her rival Dasman Camacho Quinn in the Diamond League. From July to September, Amusin defended her African title, won her first world championship, earned her second Commonwealth Games gold medal, and finished the season with a Diamond League trophy. Her most impressive feat was breaking the world record in the 100-meter hurdles at the World Championships, where she took eight hundredths of a second off the previous record held by Kendra Harrison. Her time of 12.12s was the largest drop in the record for the event in 42 years. Although the wind was too strong in the final to count as a record, Amusin showed the potential for the record to go even lower. And there you have it, 10 black athletes shattering expectations in 2023. If you enjoyed the video and got to the end, comment Africa to the world in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Insight.TV, give the video a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. Until the next time. Bye for now.